Hello everyone, I'm Donna Bush with your CID TV News Update. Thanks for joining us. Minister of Infrastructure, the Honorable Kurt Tibbetts, addressed members of the Chamber of Commerce at their monthly luncheon on Thursday. He talked about the Georgetown Revitalization Project and encouraged those in the private sector to join government in a public-private partnership. He asked questions such as, what is the Georgetown Revitalization Project? Who does it concern? Who will it affect? And how will it be put in place? This is not just a facelift or a beautification project. It is meant to be a true restoration of our capital into a bustling, mixed-use neighborhood for businesses, residents, and the tourists that visit our shores. It is a long-term strategy that recognizes the relationship of downtown to the rest of the entire island, while also becoming sustainable on its own. Some of you may have heard me in the Legislative Assembly recently as I gave an outline of the government's proposed infrastructure works over the next coming few years. Those plans were a direct result of careful forward planning by my ministry and the National Roads Authority to link downtown, the proposed cruise berthing facility, and the redevelopment of the Warren Roberts Airport with a network that had capacity to allow for efficient traffic flow and to spur growth and development in our capital. Mr. Tibbetts also announced the Cayman Ice Palace, which will be a multi-purpose hub for both the community and for our tourism product with over 6,300 seats for concerts and other similar events. The building will boast the ability to also host conventions, trade shows, hockey, skating, boxing, basketball, and much more. Join us over the weekend for the entire speech from Minister Tibbetts, only here on CIGTV. Meantime, Premier the Honorable Alden McLaughlin pays a visit to the Department of Environmental Health. He recently toured the de department's administrative offices and labs, as well as the Georgetown Landfill compound. He was able to meet with staff and learn about the day-to-day -day work within the various sections. Premier McLaughlin was also briefed on how staff carrying out food testing and garbage disposal duties, as well as the new fleet of trucks that now serves residential and commercial areas. Well, the Cayman Islands tourism industry has recorded history-making arrival figures. A 5.7% increase for the first quarter of this year saw the number of tourists arriving by air grow from just over 109,000 people to more than 115,000 stayover visitors again for the first quarter of this year compared to the same time last year. Tourism Minister the Honorable Moses Colonel says the Cayman Islands is regarded as a destination of choice, which is evidenced not just by our consistent arrivals groweth, but by the visitor acclaim we continue to receive, including being named as the best beach in the world by U.S. News and World Report and the number two island in the Caribbean for 2015 by Islands Magazine. Director of Tourism, of the Tourism Department, rather, Mrs. Rosa Harris added that it is another great positive beginning to the year and we couldn't have asked for a better start to 2015. We're optimistic of the tourism performance, which is measured by the growth in air arrivals as the next quarter progresses. Sustained growth is expected as the destination begins its promotional marketing period. With the Cayman, the Summer Only in Cayman campaign, now to learn more about that campaign, you can visit caymanislands.ky slash only in Cayman. Finally, before we go, don't forget to watch today's uh, Cayman Airways Youth Invitational Press Briefing held this morning right here in our studios. Also, watch the entire event only here on CIG TV starting tonight at 8 o'clock. If you missed our news update today, you can get all the details on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. And don't forget to tune into Radio Cayman's talk shows. That's For the Record and Talk Today. That's week mornings and weekdays. For now, I'm Donna Bush, as always, thanking you for joining us, wishing you a great night and, of course, a safe one. And I'm hoping to see you back here again on Friday evening. Until then, bye-bye for now.